Hello and welcome to the 2020 presidential election between John Hickenlooper and Donald Trump. Before we get started, go down and subscribe and hit the notifications bell to get notified when new videos come out. The end of the month goal is to hit 70 subscribers. Uh, if you do not know who John Hickenlooper is, he was the past governor of Colorado and he has recently announced that he will be running for president. So we're going to start off with the safe Republican states. Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, the Dakotas, Nebraska, except the 2nd Congressional District, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, South Carolina, and Alaska. Now we're going to move into John Hickenlooper's safe states. California, Illinois, Massachusetts, District of Columbia, uh, Maryland, New York, Vermont, uh, oh, and Hawaii. Uh, John Hickenlooper is a... Uh, He's more of a moderate liberal candidate, and he he doesn't he's not too appealing to the white working class, nor the Hispanic voters, nor African Americans. He his most appeal is to millennials and younger generations. Um, so that will be a strong negative against him. So I'm actually gonna put Texas into the safe column for the Republicans. Republican Donald Trump, and just because him turning off a lot of the white working class and Hispanic voters. Uh, now moving into the likely Republican states, uh, I could see Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Ohio, and... Um, Oh, yeah, and that's a con congressional district. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that would be all the likely states. Arizona, because of, um, well, uh, uh, John Hickenlooper turning away the Hispanic voters and really only appealing to the millennials and younger generations. Georgia, because of him turning off African Americans as well as North Carolina. Ohio because he's turning off um, the uh, the white working class and I could actually see that happen with Iowa too. Uh, moving into uh, John Hickenlooper's likely states: Oregon, West, not West Virginia, uh, Washington, Rhode Island, Connecticut, uh, New Jersey, Delaware. That first congressional district. Uh, New Mexico, his home state. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, and, uh, Virginia. Yeah, that's, uh, okay, now, with the likely states in, Donald Trump has a 20 electoral vote lead, and there's a total of 98 electoral uh, votes left. Moving into the lean, Republic uh, lean Republican states, Florida would easily go to Donald Trump, um, turning away the Hispanic voters and just appealing to the millennial voters and there's not that many millennial voters in the state of Florida. It's more, um, uh, I would say, I don't know, I would say, um, how I would explain Florida. Uh, it's hard to explain Florida. Um, that second congressional district in Nebraska and we're going to now move into John Hickenlooper's lean states. Nevada having that kind of sunbelt appeal and kind of the western appeal, moderate. He would It would be very close. I could also see him carry the same Minnesota just because of Trump's not doing too, too well there. And, well, it's going to be really interesting to see Minnesota. 
It really depends who the Democrats get as their nominee, but it looks like it's going to stay in the lean column for the Democratic Party. Um, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, and Maine's second congressional district. I could see edge into there. Uh, now having 228 to 260, moving back to the Republican column in the lean. I could see the uh, state of Pennsylvania edging into the column, making Donald Trump re-elected president for another four years. Uh, it's just going to, he's not going to appeal at all to the white working class, and I could see that as well happen in the, in the state of uh, Wisconsin, and I could see in the state of Michigan, but I could see him possibly edge out the state of New Hampshire. Mm, actually, no. I could see him. I could see Trump actually edge out New Hampshire. Uh, so this is the end of the video. Please go like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell to get notified when new videos come out. Bye.